Strike the soldier with your throwing paint, which apparently is a thing I have. Are you the soldier? No. The soldier will say your name every five seconds. You may not remove or tamper with your helmet. Fastest wins. My time starts when I'm correctly wearing my helmet. You're wearing half the helmet, Alan. Am I? That's the other half. But that should help you find the soldier. OK. I could barely see as it is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, weird. Oh, God, this is horrible. Huh? What can you see, Gus? Oh, I see you're cheeky. You're a cheeky man, Alex. I can see... Oh, well, that's... Wait. This is ridiculous. You're talking to me from, I guess, here, and I'm seeing you there? I can see uh, behind me. Great. So I'm holding your throwing paint. Yeah? I've also got a big stick called a nipper, and if you bump into anything, I'm going to prod you with it to stop it happening. Is it electric? I don't think so. <laughs> OK, it may look like the one they use on cows. So I'm starting the <laughs> clock. And you're start, there. I'm starting the clock, and the soldier will say your name every five seconds. Victoria. 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 Classic. <laughs> eyes in the back of your head game. It is eyes in the back of the head time. We're going to see Desiree and Guz, first of all. Desiree. This is the beginning of a very weird horror film. OK, hi. I see you. Guz. Who said my name? All right, homie, I'm coming. You really take your eyes for granted until everything's backwards. Oh, is that it? Oh, wait. I should just about to hit it. Was that him? I'll put it back up. Gus. Who is that? Gus. Where's she gone? Is that a soldier or a walkie talkie? What? Wait. <laughs> Oh, well, how was that supposed to help me? Where is he, man? Yes. Dude, where are you? I think he can only say dead, right? Yes. Hello. Yes. This, why am I taking this with me? Surely that's not going to help. Whoa! Who's that? So <laughs> Alex, see the technique I'm using. Yeah, you're pressing the button to make noises. Go pee pee blah blah. Yeah. Is there any more danger? Uh, yeah, the danger right in front of you. Oh, oh there's, that's a big left hand. <laughs> yeah. Desiree. Is this the door? Desiree. Yeah. Where are you, mate? I'm coming for you. Guys. Why is this attached to, brother? What's that? I'm just gonna take me where I need to go. No, you worry, because it's coming. Desiree. Desiree. Yeah, there is a pond ahead of you now. So yeah, there what? It's a pond. Yeah, there's a little pond. Guz. I give you goose. <laughs> you have struck the soldier with the paint. Desiree worked out that, that walkie-talkie was a red herring and she often walked backwards, which makes sense because her eyes are in the back of her head. Because you went for a slightly different technique. <laughs> <laughs> you went for walking forwards and occasionally taking up an aggressive ninja stunt. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, he's not the best person to be with if impending danger is around the corner, yeah? You could, because... you could have stopped that sentence way early. <laughs> I was late on it, and I could see him in that camera, innit? And he had a little smile on his face yeah. when I was about to bump into something, and he'd just tell you at the last second, oh, be careful. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but he wanted you to hurt yourself, that's yeah. him. I didn't want to... I just didn't want to... I didn't want to nip him too early if the nip was unnecessary, and then sometimes I was too late.
Next, it's good old, old Alan and Victoria. <laughs> um, oh, I heard someone say my name. It came from wrong that direction. Oh, this is really strange. It's all right, I know, I, I'm coming. I, can they say something else? I can't even see where my hand is. Is that him standing on the pillar? <laughs> Victoria! Oh, stop it! Why do they keep saying Victoria? <laughs> oh, that didn't help, did it? Ah! Oh. You've gone to somewhere else. Victoria. What shall I do then? What do you think you should do? Turn it off, make it stop. I'm coming upon another walkie talkie. He's got something attached to it. <laughs> What's that doing? I can't see a soldier. Hello. What? <laughs> oh. oh, that's outside. Oh, my Lord. Should I go outside? I don't even really understand where that door is, never mind the voice. Which door? <laughs> is that a door or is it a window? <laughs> I can't tell, I feel there's a door somewhere. There is a door directly behind you now. What's the here? Is this a direction? I'm just Oh, so it means it's here, right? What, what is there? The door that I just saw. Well, there's another walkie-talkie. Do you think we should turn it off like we did the other one? Oh, you can't look where you're going, but well, I can't, can I? Well, oh, you're... let me tell you, yes, I can. Yeah. Okay. Yes. What? That was a person. Where was it? Where is it? Hello. Hello. I feel like I'm going to fall to my death. Is the thing in the middle of the path like a well? It's I mean, a pond. Why would I just walk blindfolded towards a pond? You're not blindfolded. You can see. Okay, I think I found the soldier. Alan. Have you found the soldier? I don't know, there's a sort of Christmas tree. Is that what that is? <laughs> <laughs> I've stopped the clock, Alan. Victoria. Out of that one. I've stopped the clock. You know, for two people who are you know, pretty well known for being intelligent, <laughs> it is incredible to watch. <laughs> I mean, Victoria, until she got outside, never at any point considered walking backwards. No, I mean, would you say that not wanting to walk backwards blindfolded towards a pond is not a sign of intelligence? But when you were indoors, never at any point did you think I should use this camera that's on the back of my head? Never occurred to me. I'm literally, until I saw you do that, never crossed my mind. And, just to go to the next level, at one point, Alan tried to speak down a walkie-talkie through his camera. <laughs> So I think it's fair to say there was a level of confusion. <laughs> Finally, it's Morgana. Morgana. Oh, that's really tough. Morgana. Oh, this is a good idea, actually, isn't it? Is it? Oh. Stuff. Ah? Morgana. <laughs> I've stopped the clock. Yay! Thank you. Morgana. Thanks, guys. I mean, that was lightning fast, wasn't it? She walked backwards for a little bit, but largely was just fearless. She uh, went the right way, which helped. And then she was passing the door when the soldier spoke, whereas Gauss just carried on down that corridor at that point. To be honest, I mean, I've got to tell you this. I could see a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> because I think it's because my eyes are bulgier than everyone else's. <laughs> so I could see there wasn't any, like, like, immediate obstacles. But, I mean, what I would say... If you're gonna saddle a horse up, make sure you saddle it up right, but don't blame the horse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. I put the saddle on the horse. 
Mm. Yeah. Mm. Ah, well, disqualified. So... No! Uh, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's not my day, It's not your Victoria. fault. You're not disqualified. It's not oh. your fault. There's only one person to blame for you being able to see, and that's the person, as oh. you quite rightly pointed out... Oh, I'm so sorry, Alex. ...fitting the equipment, and he'll be punished off-camera in the traditional <laughs> way. Not the traditional yes, way. Yes, the traditional way! <laughs>